Hey guys, it's Will here, and today I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on how to use Rockbox on the iPod Classic 5th, 6th, and 7th gens. So Rockbox is a little different on 5th gens, but it's basically the exact same operating system. So when you do the, when you take the Apple Watch apple watch when you take the ipod off hold it automatically should wake up and then if you're using it and you put it on hold it should automatically uh, dim the display like that so yeah i guess let's just go ahead and go through the operating system so this is a special theme on here i don't know why it says 202 a.m the time was like just right but i guess it just broke randomly um i'll go ahead and make the theme the normal one, so I think it's Cappy V4, I think is how it comes when you first get the iPod, or when you f first download Rockbox, yeah. So, first, um, on files, this should be, like, everything you have, basically. Uh, this should be just files, basically. So, you can put music on through files, like, as you can see, and then you can also, it'll, it should sync your music through uh, your iPod, so there's like a bunch of stuff that was already on this iPod, as you can see, and it's just all on there, and you can basically do, you can choose whatever you want, and then you can click resume play, playback, which will just play what you were previously playing, if you've been playing anything, and then settings, uh, settings basically, sound settings, you can go into volume, you can make the volume however loud you want, I have it on 26, so um, a little, so, so, like, anything past halfway is pretty loud for 26 decibels, um, and usually in Rockbox, you press the, um, reverse track, or the, whatever you want to call it, to go back, instead of just pressing menu like you would in a normal, um, iPod operating system, and then you can go to maximum volume limit, which is how loud it'll go. Oh, no, that's, uh, no, volume is just a current volume. Maximum volume li limit is how loud it will go. Then bass, it's bass. Obviously, I have mine on max because I think it sounds better with like max bass and max, max treble. Then bass cutoff, that's just um, one pr is pretty much nothing. Four is like a lot. And then treble, that's treble. Treble, um, treble cutoff. I have it on two because for some reason four makes it like really muffled. And then one is like the complete opposite, so... Yeah, um, then balance, that's just how balanced you want it to be. Like, it'll play more out of the left, I think, if you go up. And then if you go down, it'll play more out of the right. Channel configuration, I'll be honest, I have no clue, so who cares? Uh, I don't know what any of this stuff is. This is just, down here is basically pointless stuff, but up here is all your sound stuff, basically. And then playback settings, um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, a lot of this stuff doesn't matter. You're most likely not going to need to use... Um, any of the stuff in playback settings, unless you just want to change how play how you play back. General settings. Uh, the only thing you should need to do in here um, should be like display. You can change uh, the backlight timer. I like mine on seven, and then you can change backlight while plugged in on hold. Um, and then brightness is down here. You can make it brighter um, or completely off, basically. I like mine on about 30. And then, yeah, let's go to theme settings next. So theme settings, you go to theme files, and this is this should be all of your themes. So I was using tape deck. Um, these are just two default ones, and then that's iPod Refresh 4, which I think is a pretty clean um, theme. And then Cassette Pod, which just makes it look like a cassette. But I like using tape deck. And it has this terrible font once it loads. I don't know why it's taking forever. The only time that I film is when it takes so so long. Um, I don't know why it's not doing anything. Um, just gonna install this one, I guess. Yeah, so, so this looks a lot cleaner, I think. 
But, um, and then font, you can just change your font. So, like, I could make it absolutely tiny if I wanted to. That did not work. I don't think you can change it on this theme. But anyways, um, and then while playing screen, it just shows you that, basically. Uh, base skin. I don't know what that is, so you don't need it. <laughs> um, show icons, no clue. Clear backdrop makes it clear, basically. Um, none of this stuff really matters. You can change colors of all this stuff, but... Yeah, and then recording, you can record yourself, I think. Playlist catalog, um... I don't know. I don't think... I don't, I don't even know what that does. Plugins. This is like all your games and stuff, which I haven't played any of those games. Mo most people don't. Um, and then there's like apps and random demos, whatever those do. And then system, that stuff. Shortcuts. Pretty basic. So yeah, um, I guess that's it for this video. It's a very simple operating system, uh, but it can be not simple basically if you don't know how to use it so yeah i guess that's it for this video so i hope you all enjoyed if you did, please smash that like button and if you're a new subscriber i'll see you next time bye